So welcome to this lesson on polymorphism. Now, polymorphism is mainly used with inheritance. So you will see it throughout lots of examples of code. Now, the point of inheritance is that you want to include the attributes and the methods from the parent class. So you have a parent that you want to inherit their, all their behaviors. So for example, a parent could be uh, in real life circumstances, a parent could be a teacher, they could be a tennis player, they could be a musician. There's lots of different behaviors that they will have. And the point of using polymorphism is that it allows us to reuse some of those attributes. I'm going to give you an example here of what it might look like with some of the built in functions in Python. So you can see it's the same function, but it does things slightly differently. So what we've got here is I'm going to put family equals and what we're going to do there is Raymond Francis Ray. Okay. Then we've got a surname equals Chambers. Now, if I was to create a printout here of the length of family, but then do the printout of the length of surname, what I've got here when I run this, so I'm just going to run this for you, is you'll notice it's the same method but it does it slightly differently. But that's because the method recognizes that this is an array, so it handles it differently. That's what happens. And again, here, this one recognizes that it's a string, so the length counts the characters instead. And that's kind of how polymorphism works. It looks at the behaviors and it acts differently. Now, to demonstrate this, we're gonna start off by creating a class. Now, I'm going to create a class called sports, all right? So class, sports, all right, and I'm going to initialize it. So def initialize, and I'm going to put self dot self. I have the name, the players, and the minutes, all right. My point of this is to demonstrate that all these different sports can have different behaviors, all right, self. So we're going to go for self dot players equals players and we're going to go for self dot minutes equals minutes now the only reason we're going to use these attributes for this is because i'm creating a function called a uh, method called show and what i'm going to do is i'm going to print the details all right of these and i'm going to do self dot name uh, self dot players and self Dot minutes okay so I've got all of those attributes and that would print that out now the main function I know that two of my sports uh, will have a different number of players in them but sorry two of them will have the same so I'm going to create a function here slash method uh, number of players is 11 all right and I'm going to have another one called number of minutes again self and print number of minutes is let's go for we're going to start off with football all right so we know if i was to run that right now nothing's going to happen with it because i've not actually called on it now i want to inherit all of the behavior from sports so i'm going to go to create a class called rugby all right and i'm going to inherit sports but Although I want to inherit all of the behavior and use all of those methods, I'm going to overwrite, we're going to change the method for rugby because the number of players, all right, in a rugby game, so I'm just going to demonstrate that here, is print number of players is 15. And also we know that the number of minutes in a rugby game is number of minutes is 80. Now, I'm going to do another class here, and this one's going to be called NFL. Sports, find number of players, print, uh, sorry, number of minutes, because the players in NFL, there are 11. And I'll explain why I've done this in a minute. So we've got the number of minutes, uh, number of minutes in an NFL game is 60. Now, my reason for showing you this one is because in an NFL game, 
believe it or not, there are 11 players that's the same as football. So I only need to change the behavior of sports, all right? With rugby, I need to change the number of players and the minutes. And I'm going to demonstrate how this works here. So what we're going to do is football equals sports. And I'm going to pass in my details. Football, 11, 90 minutes. All right. I'm going to do football dot show. And then football dot num minutes. Now, if I was to run that, number of minutes is 90. Now, watch here. Notice in the NFL, I haven't got the number of players, all right? I haven't got a class that has a method for the number of players. That's because with polymorphism, I'm going to use the behavior of the parent class. So watch here, NFL game equals NFL. So I'm using that class. I'm going to put all of my information in. 11 and 60. All right. We're going to say NFL game because I've created the instance of the NFL class. I've used that class. But what you'll notice here is I don't have the show. All right. That's in the class sports. I've used the behavior from the parent. Okay. Again, NFL game dot number of players all right that is not in the nfl class it is in the original sports class so let's run that and see how that works so you can see number of players was 11 i didn't need to change that because that's the same i've shown the details again that was in the the sports class but then the last one nfl game dot um, minutes, this is where it's changed. So you can, you should see I've overwritten the original number of minutes here, and this should show up as 60. So I'm going to run that. And you can see that I have overwritten that class. So that is how polymorphism works with inheritance. You can see I've inherited certain behaviors, but not all of them. So, and you can see the changes there's an existing base class, and what we have done, we have overwritten those functions. Um, but if we haven't, what it does is it just makes sure that it uses it from the parent. So if the function slash method is not there to use, it will go to the parent instead. I hope that's helpful, and we will go on to more polymorphism videos shortly.